This video will cover how to create a fog-like database agent using the simple mode. My name is John Sakalaskis, and I am a technical product specialist for the Foglight product. The Foglight cartridge for Oracle currently provides two methods when creating agents to monitor instances, simple and advanced mode. With this demo, we will cover how to create a single Foglight Oracle agent to monitor an Oracle database instance using the simple method. This is ideal for creating one agent at a time. This setup has some minimum requirements for database and OS connections. Review the prerequisites and requirements as a setup reference. Also consult the Foglate documentation guides mentioned below. Log into the Foglate Management Console. Navigate to the Databases Dashboard. If an Oracle tile is not visible, an Oracle cartridge should be installed to enable the Oracle monitoring capability. Click Monitor and select Oracle. The Monitor Oracle Instance Setup GUI should display in a consolidated simple screen format, requesting the needed setup configurations for creating a single instance. To create multiple agents in a setting, click on Use this option and discover multiple Oracle database instances. A separate video will cover this method. Let's continue with configuring the single agent and break down the utility options. Under Oracle Connection, Agent Manager host specifies the agent manager selected to use to discover the instance. Click the agent manager name to change the agent manager host if desired. Remember, the host should meet the system requirements and support the total number of deployed agents. Connection Details proposes two methods for configuring an Oracle database agent for monitoring. Loading a TNS file copied from the database system or manually configuring the parameters. Note the suggested use of these options. I'll simulate the TNS setup first for the connection details, but actually set up the agent using the hostname entry option. For TNS, click on load file and locate the file. Choose it and click OK. A populate list of databases will display in accordance to the contents of the TNS name's aura file. Select the database instance of choice from the list and the instance name appears on the TNS line. Host connection parameters would be loaded into the background and gathered from the TNS name's aura file. Now we'll enter the host name manually. Select the radio button for host. Enter the host name of the Oracle database instance is located. Change the port if it's something other than the default. Supply the service name or SID. For both the TNS and hostname options, we would next specify the login credentials. Click the link marked listener to change the name of the default listener on the instance. Adjust alarm sensitivity level if it's other than the default. The sensitivity level will control the type of alarms that will get triggered. Leave the checkbox enabled to allow the system to generate the dashboard display name. Usually it combines the hosting parameter with the server's name or SID. Select the SQL PI checkbox to enable SQL PI with the host. Details on creating SQL PI agents or adding the SQL PI extension to an existing database agent is covered in more detail in another video. Enable the operating system checkbox to include OS metrics with the Oracle agent. Click the Specify OS Credentials link to enter the OS monitoring credentials. The link to select from Stored Credentials provides an option to choose previously configured credentials for the new agent. Otherwise, select Authentication Type and enter a Windows domain and user with a password or a Linux user user ID and password. Then click Apply. To collect VM statistics for VMware virtual machines, click the Collect VM Statistics link and then enter the connection details for the vCenter ESX server on which the Oracle instance is running. Click Monitor and validation takes place. If a grant privileges box pops up, 
the configured Foglite database user needs sufficient permissions to access the Oracle Data Dictionary of Use. A SysDBA user is needed to run the Grant Privileges script. Either copy the script or go manually run it on the database and enter a SysDBA user to have the wizard execute within the utility. The entered SysDBA credentials are not saved and only required for completing the granting stage. Click Grant and the cycles of validation displays. Once all of the checks have been authenticated, a monitoring initialize successfully box pops up. Click the Add button to create another database agent, otherwise click Close. The new monitoring agent has been created and is viewable on the database dashboard. Metric retrieval may take a few minutes to populate. After a couple of minutes of collection time, the dashboard should become populated with data for the agent. To learn more about Foglight for Databases, visit support.quest.com. For quick support questions, follow us on Twitter at Quest Experts.